Hello, all greetings. This is Jules Mancion. I thought I'd come back today to, to, um, to wish you a good day and to speak about this great portal that we're going to traverse. This 1111 portal, and it's going to be uh, the next day a full moon in Taurus, which we're going to anchor us. It's a fixed earth, so it's going to be very grounding. And this 1111 will allow us to get rid of all kinds of old programming that is still lingering. We had many eclipses and portals that allowed us to, to eliminate some of this old thing from the past, but uh, we need to continue doing that until we're totally free. For me, the 11-11-2011 and 11-11 in the morning was one of the greatest moments of my life. I, I was shown my light body and it was so incredible. I wanted to go. I didn't want to stay. I just wanted to go in it and, and fly and travel in it. But Spirit says, no, no, it was just a glimpse. We showed you a glimpse of what it is, but it's so beautiful, so amazing. And, and so I'm still not, I uh, still not haven't been able to, to to utilize that light body. And then after that, the, the grand portal that we went through was the 2112, 2012. It was shown the great central sun that was in alignment. All those portals are always open, it, but, but when it is, um, when there is those cosmic alignment, uh, those, those dates, so to speak, uh, there, there is a spirit and, and, and is actually uh, affecting the collective in, in sending out the energy to make those portals more accessible. But yeah, it's a two-way street. We need to be receptive on our hand in order to be receiving of what's, go of what's on the other side. We, there has to be a, a relationship of resonance. We, ha we have to find, to, the more we will be in joy, in, in receptivity, in joy and, and, and and in a sense of freedom, of, of free, free, silence within our mind, the more receptive we will be of those new energies, but they will affect us all. For it is time to invite our galactic family to, to land their ships. The more we do that, the faster it will come. They won't be landing in the middle of New York City, and yeah? there's too many people that, will, that would be confused. But when, when you're in the woods or in a place where it's very secluded, you can ask them, and do not be angry if they do not show up, it's because they, for some reason they were not allowed to, but um, um, there, there has to be a very high energy frequency in the place and has to be very discreet for them to land but it is good to to call on them and to to accelerate this process so we can move towards uh, towards um, first contact i'm going to pull some cards with the the voyager to see about this this portal guidance on the portal well the situation for us is the hermit is about being true to ourselves to be uh, to look one eye to the past but two eyes to the future and um and so we we want to we want to be able to to hold the light of truth and and to enlighten the past of others to to enjoy ourselves uh, and enjoy our own company and then enjoy the company of others. What comes around the situation is the six of world. It is synergy. It is all those things that are coming together. Sometimes there is synergy with elements that we feel fear because we do not know we do not want somewhere we fear that those two elements come together. But in, in essence, there is nothing to fear. Trust the whole process. What we see before us in our conscious mind that will unfold is salvation. It is the universe. It is the card of the universe. It is the card of salvation. We see it already coming. It is a dance. It is, a, it is a, the doorway to the world that will open. What we have in our subconscious, our distant past, is stagnation. It is, it is when the communication doesn't happen. Then what we've learned from, the, from that is that there is a new beginning. We can, after, after the... Once the cycle ends, there is always a new beginning. Where we are now is uh, is the child of the world. It is the player. It is we want to have fun. We want to enjoy ourselves, and this is really to find the joy, to find the play, to be like a child. But what's coming up in the near future is dullness, which is not that much fun. But it's very solid and it's very grounding, and it's um, so it's uh, it's. Uh, the, the, because we, what we need, needs to be done is the tower. It's about removing all those things that are no longer in alignment with the divine will. And that will p push us to higher creativity. What we, we, our strength within the situation is set back. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> I'm just saying it is just a delay. It's just has nothing to worry about. It's just a, so, so if there is delay, what you want to do is to be the guardian, to, to keep this diamond, to keep to elevate yourself above the emotion and to guard, to be pro the protector of, the, of, of that which is true. So when the time comes, you will be able to come in. So it's just about sitting back and not to, to allow ourselves to be, um, to be discouraged by the delays. Uh, it's something that I guess needed to be said, and it's not really what I wanted to say, but I guess that needed to be said. What comes to us from the outside world is the sun. 
It is, it is wonderful, it is power, it is love, it is joy, it's romance, it's abundance, it's, uh, it's fulfillment, it's, uh, it's inspiration, it is everything that we'll ever want is coming to us from the outside world. What we have in our inner emotion, our hopes and fear, is brilliance. We see clarity, it's clarity of mind. It is, uh, it is about uh, being, being clear, clear, having these clear thoughts that is, that is not interfering with the love of the heart. And the outcome is the master. It's the master, it's the sage of world, it's the master, it's the, the harvest, it's the investor, it's the prosperity, it's, uh, it's about, um, it's about uh, manifesting all those things that we came here to manifest uh, and create this creativity that we'll, because we're, we're going to need to be facing this dullness, the tower and the creativity will eventually lead us to this, uh, to the, the woman of wand, which is the sensor, which is a great deal, a great increase in sensitivity in, in, in uh, ability to perceive, to sense what's going on behind the veil and to, to be able to utilize those, those energies for the highest good of all and to make magic, uh, magical event happening. Well, I hope this resonated with you. And I thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, if you have any comments, and subscribing. I will continue to communicate. I, don't, I may have to do a little break. But um, um, what I wanted to say also is that the success or failure are very... We have so many... Sometimes we succeed, sometimes we fail into whatever experience within this life. But, but in the divine light, those things do not exist. Everything is love. Everything is perceived through the eyes of love. And, and everything is perfect for the learning that it teaches. It, it, it is teaching us. All this love is eternal in the eyes of the Creator. And we are this, this eternal love that is an eternal spirit. Of, that was made of love and so God does not ever criticize it is the soul that is very that needs to grow um, because the, the every soul needs to strive towards love each and every day no matter who they are no matter what they're doing no matter even if they're doing some things that are really not um, agreeable to, to, to what we believe is true and good, they're still doing their best if they could do any better they would so, so it, they all, everybody's learning different lessons the thing is, we put a veil between ourselves and love, and we don't want to dissolve that veil. We want to release all fear, guilt, judgment, regret. So once those are dissolved, we'll uh, we'll be able to, um, to 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 be connected to that that love that is source. The heart is like is like a hand. It's like a, it's, it's like a hand. When when a hand is closed, it's not really pleasant. But when a hand is open, the heart is open, and then then so many things can come about, um, and we can receive. It's like. Um, we want to give and receive love. We want to, we want to, we want to be able to, to receive love. It's as important as to give. For we want to give, but we also want to learn to receive and to have an open heart. Because there is a struggle between love and the intellect. The intellect is always in criticism, so the heart closes. But it's the heart to, to teach the intellect, to, to let go of a little bit of the intellect. Uh, also, when we, it is easy to, to love those people we love or, and like, so, so the, to love our, our tribe, so to speak, our spirit family, that those who have the same thoughts, same ideas, same vision, uh, or, or same interest. Um, but we have to learn to love all, uh, uh, beyond ethnicity, beyond re our religious group, uh, our spiritual belief, beyond our country, uh, beyond our intellectual capacity or social status. For, for It is good to surround ourselves with those who resonate with us and love us and we love. But but we we can also we we are encountering all kinds of other people during the course of our life that are completely different than us, and we have to learn to love them as well without discrimination. For love does not discriminate; it is the mind that discriminates. Uh, for the mind needs to discriminate in order to make the highest choice. Um, for we we have created an unreal dream, a matrix, and we. Um, and, but what we see, we we seeking to be loved, and um, because love is our true nature, we wanna um, we wanna let we wanna be, become master of time, because time and space are the separators. They separate. They are illusions. They are creation. They are they are invention, divine invention, to allow us to have those experiences that we believe to be real, because they feel so real, they look so real, but they're not that real. They just experience. We came here to experiment and to experience, to learn, grow, and evolve. But eventually, we'll move to sixth dimension. We'll become master of time. We'll be able to. 
to, to live through many uh, timelines and, and investigate so much more. We all design our own program programmation for awakening, the awakening or, or whatever happens in our life does not depend ever on anybody else. It depends on our soul and spirit. They are the, the, the conductor of all our life experience. So, so talk to yourself. Of course, our soul is, far, is in consciousness, is an eternal consciousness. So it's not, uh, it's, um, and sometimes the soul doesn't really, uh, it only sees one thing. It needs to grow. It doesn't care about anything else. So sometimes we have some rough experiences. Um, and, and once we discover that, we'll, we will be able to, once we, we, we ascend our consciousness, we do this apotheos. Apotheos means uh, uh, becoming God huh, in Greek. Um, we, we, we ascend into the higher realm. We, we, um, we'll be able to discover the true story of our soul because the story we tell ourselves is not all that uh, sometimes sometimes it's positive or negative we tell all kinds of story to ourselves but our soul has its own story for we all fractal of source and um, and, and and so we, we want to return as much as possible to the, the connection between to dissolve the veil between us and love well, I hope this was interesting for you. I just wanted to encourage you to stay, stay in touch with your heart and allow your heart to be open and receptive to, to receive love and to give love. This is the highest experience we can ever experience. This is another painting on paper. Those are like, um, first, I've never shown those before, so I tried to show new ones. It said, I am that I am. It's like a Buddha figure. It's kind of decorative. I like that. I like it. Um, well, I like my work, <laughs> otherwise I, I would um, paint over it if I don't like something. But sometimes I have to stick around and stick to uh, stick with it, and eventually they find the completion. And this is a this is a painting, a cosmic painting that's from 2010. It's called Blue Star Friends and Family. I'm looking forward to do some larger paintings like that when I get set up into a studio. I thought I finished with this uh, since 1111, the cosmic portal. 1111 is the master number. Uh, I read this book, 1111, it's by Thea Alexander, and it was my first, I was saying an anecdote about this, 11, it was called 1111, it's a very beautiful book, uh, from the long time ago, 90s, I think, and I went to this channeling session, I wasn't really tuned into channeling at the time, I wasn't really even too much into uh, spirituality or anything, but my mother took me there, and I was sitting in the back of the room, and it was this lady, Thea Alexander, who brought out this book, and she was channeling a group entity called T.O., which I'm still in touch now, and uh, and they were starting to ask questions to about the people who were in front, I was sitting in the back, I didn't want to, I was there because my mother asked me to go there, and it was a lady with blue hair, Blue hair, and uh, and uh, around the end, Tio just came to to find me. Say, hey, you <laughs> back there? It's like, hey, don't forget, you 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 got, you got a mission here on the earth. And it was like, me? Are you talking to me? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, you. <laughs> so it was kind of funny. My first contact with interdimensional channel beings was in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I think it was 1990. Um, and so I'm going to sing this song. It's a, a tribute to David Bowie. It's called Space Oddity. Ground control to Major Tom. Ground control to Major Tom. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Ground control to Major Tom. Commencing countdown engines on. Check ignition and may God's love be with you. This is major term to ground control. You've really made the grade. And the paper wants to know whose shirt you wear. Now it's time to leave the capsule if you dare. This is major time to ground control. I'm stepping through the door. And I'm floating in a most peculiar way. And the stars look very different today. For here am I sitting in a tin can Far above the world 
Planet Earth is blue and there's nothing I can do. Though I'm past 100,000 miles, I'm feeling very still. And I think my spaceship knows which way to go. Tell my wife I love her very much, she knows. For here am I sitting in a tin can, far above the world. Planet Earth is blue and there's nothing I can do. Ground control to Major Tom. Ground control to Major Tom. Your circuits there, there's something wrong. Can you hear me, Major Tom? Can you hear me, Major Tom? Can you hear me, Major Tom? Can you hear am I floating around my team? Can far above the moon, planet Earth is blue. And there's nothing I can do. Great song, the first uh, public success of David Bowie. I made a mistake actually at, at the beginning after I did this lift off. My consciousness went all the way up. I was complete. I had to come back and, and find so it, it wasn't Major Tom to ground control. It was control, um, ground control to Major Tom. But I thought I kept singing anyway for some time. So even, even on stage, people make mistakes, but then. It's like they, we carry on and no matter what life will mistakes are part of our life and we get to assume our mistakes and, uh, and move beyond and learn from them all the time well i just wanted to wish you a wonderful wonderful uh, full moon and uh, and 11 11 uh, gate for the card of the day is the five of gabriel you can undertake a challenge remove yourself from people living in tragic situation be patient towards yourself and others. So it's about not allowing the dramas of the world or those who are living in dramatic situation to, to, to bring us down with them. So it is uh, once we do that, we find the four very ill. To give is also to receive. We have to learn to give and to receive, to give material thing and to receive material thing, to give love and to receive love. Resisting the change. To know how to spend or, or, or save your money. So it's very much a card of, of organization being somewhat disciplined and uh, to have a certain discrimination in the utilization of our resources. Well, thank you very much for everything. I wish you a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Namaste.